Hey, it's John again. I'm playing Immaculate Grid, playing a little bit of a earlier morning edition, so there won't be as much of a sample size, but hopefully enough to uh, validate my scores here. I'm playing grid number 438, which is the number of career home runs in the Hall of Fame career of Andre Dawson, who I believe became the fourth player uh, ever to reach uh, the 300 home run, 300 stolen base thresholds. So that's pretty cool. So let's play this game for him. It took him a few tries to get into the Hall of Fame. His war was a little bit on the lower side as far as Hall of Famers, but still like north of 50. So, um, you know, I I think he belongs. I just have this like kind of sense of, well, yeah, he was one of the great players of the 80s, so he should be in. But um, let's, uh, let's do it. Let's play. This was grid 79 from yesterday. And away we go. All right. So we're going to go with David Justice. And down here, uh, let's see, let's go Olsen, Matt Olsen. And how about another slugging first baseman, Andres Galarraga? All right. I'm sure Jeter scored 100 runs. I'm sure Mariano Rivera is an all-star. I'm quite sure that uh, Tejada scored over 100 runs that one year. Uh, Jimmy Fox was in the All-Star game. Uh, let's see, Larry Walker for 100 runs. And for uh, All-Star, how about uh, Tulwitzki? All right, 129, about 52 seconds. Sample is about 6,400, so a little bit, uh, a little bit lower there. Uh, don't know why my mind didn't go to Helton. Yeah, Justice and Jeter were the two that uh, were, were my highest. Barry Zito was the highest for uh, A's All-Star because Ricky Henderson, being the all-time runs leader, was the most popular choice for 100 runs scored, which makes some sense. Um, 100 runs is kind of a tricky one. Short of, I don't have those, like, I mean, how many are there here? 18 for the Rockies, 38 for the A's, and 45 for the Yankees. So, I mean, short of just, like, having the list in front of me, um, you figure your big time sluggers have done it. And then, you know, if the question comes up, it's like, did Chuck Knobloch score 100 runs? I don't know. He hit the lead off on a very powerful lineup. I assume so. But I don't know for sure. So um, I don't specifically recall seeing like 100 runs next to his name. So in, in the instance of Knobloch. So we'll see how the rarity score goes. 100 runs is uh, a little bit more. Educated guessing than straight up knowing, oh, these seven guys have accomplished this feat, and I'm going to pick the one I think other baseball fans won't go with. All right. Let's try out. Let's go, you know, slaughter here used him before. He works for both of these combinations. Use him there for point two. And then up here, how about Mike Stanton? That one. Oh, for a full 2%. That's a lot higher than I thought Mike Stanton was going to go. All right. Um... For Rockies Braves, uh, Denny Nagel will work. Walt Weiss will work. Denny Castillo works. Um, we saw Hampton just now with twenty five percent. Galarraga was was up there a bit. Um, let's see any any relievers. Did Mike Myers ever play for the Braves? I know he was a Rocky. Um. Walt Weiss is the best name I've come up with so far, and I'm not super pleased with it, so I'm going to keep moving along here. How about, uh, I know Raleigh Hemsley, one of the teams he was an all-star for, was the Yankees. And for the A's, I believe for the Kansas City A's, Norm Seaburn was an all-star one year. I think of Seaburn or Calavito. I think I might be thinking of Calavito. Yeah, I think so. All right. And then as far as a semi-obscure 
Rockies All Star. I know Brian Fuentes was in the All Star game one year as Rockies closer. You got a sub one at least. All right. And yeah, as far as uh, well, let's get this one. Um, let's see how Nagel does. I think Nagel will be a little bit better than Weiss. But still 5%. Okay. Well, maybe there was some uh, homework I should have. Well, not homework, because that would imply I'm prepping for these things, and I'm not. Um, but uh, some more people I could have tried to rattle off there. Eric Young Sr. I'm going to say that batting first in front of Walker and Bichette and Castilla and Burks at some point gets him to 100 runs. He takes 2%. That's pretty good. I mean, there was only 18 choices, so I'm I'm okay with 2% there. There might be better ones, but educated guess going with the oldest Rockies leadoff hitter that I can come up with. Um, for the A's. Yeah, here I'm thinking, like, did home run Baker get there? How about Mr. Al Simmons? He's popular with me on these things. Um, I'm not thinking anyone from the Kansas City A's would have done it. Um, that's not to say nobody on the Kansas City A's ever scored 100 runs. I just wouldn't have enough confidence to to go with them. Um, maybe like a Dave Henderson, um, or Canseco, McGuire, Ben Grieve, Jason Giambi. Giambi, I'm sure did it. Um, I also don't think that's going to be a a very good rarity score from the pre. Free Jimmy Fox. I think the answer I would go with is home run Baker. I, I feel decently confident in that one. Let's try that. Obviously, I could get these with, you know, someone like Henderson or Giambi or something like that, but it's more fun if we go rare, and I'll try to do the same thing with the Yankees. All right, he goes sub one. And then for the Yankees, I'm kind of thinking Earl Combs because he was, I think, hitting leadoff um, ahead of Murderer's Row. I think he was hitting leadoff. And he works too. How do you do? 2%. Okay, so these guys weren't... These educate guesses were... Pretty good, but maybe not the the very best. Stanton is really the one that's the highest. Even Nagel at five. I mean, how many options are there really? Seventy nine. <clears throat> Excuse me. So Stanton at two is is much higher. I'm going to not use that one anymore. Stanton is great for a lot of teams. Probably not the Yankees. Probably just like if you're going Braves and Rangers, I think that's a pretty strong one. If you're going Giants and Reds, that's a pretty s strong one. Um, Nationals and Braves even would work. Mets and Rangers. Now I'm just thinking of combinations that have probably come up, but I've never thought of Mike Stan. I went wet right with Mike Stan on this one and wasn't nearly that rare. I guess if if this wasn't here, I might have played Slaughter because I know his career all right. He was a Milwaukee Brave uh, briefly. Um, anyway, I think that'll do it for today. I will take my 13 and uh, uh, I'll, I'll try to be uh, back at tomorrow. Like I said, I'm a uh, doing some travel here coming up, but uh, we'll do my best to keep uh, churning out these videos for you. All right. Thanks so much for playing. Peace.